So why am I doing a boatload of bloody videos? Well, I'll explain to you. Firstly, it's for my benefit more than anyone else's, purely because it's quite cathartic, i.e. makes me feel good uh, doing it. And I feel like it concentrates my mind. Like a lot of times when people coach others, like when I go and coach young rugby players or when I was playing and I coach young rugby players, it reminds me of what I should be doing myself. And actually some of these little lessons and tips and stuff that I'm sharing with you, I think are really important. For some people, they're like perfect common sense. But judging by what's going on a lot in the world and kind of this, the bizarre cancel culture, the, um, if you have an opinion and you voice it and it's different from someone else's, uh, then you, you're wrong and you should shut the fuck up. That's bizarre. Because I used to play sport, I've been told many times to shut the fuck up and stick to rugby, which means that the person the, the, the person saying that, you know, if they're an accountant, then they should just stick to accountancy. If you're a road worker, stick to road worker. How, how are you allowed to have a, a comment on politics and nobody else's or the world? Um, because basically that means that only the person doing that thing is qualified. So only politicians can talk about politics. And we know that's not a good idea. Do we? The first thing I talked to you all about was the uh, controlling how you treat your body. Um, and again, you can watch the video back. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on Instagram. And the idea was that one of the things you can actually control is how you treat your body and how you develop your mind. This mind is incredibly powerful. This body you are given is an unbelievable tool. Yes, some people are blessed with more talents than others, but you can always upskill, you can always learn something new. You know, they talk about 10,000 hours, putting that in, mastering a skill is, is, is important and it's good for development. It's great to feel like you've achieved something um, in the day. You know, I talked about making a bed as, a, as, a, as something to do in the day to make sure you've chalked off at least one thing. The next extension of that that I want to talk to you about today is how you treat other people. That is something you can control. That is something that you have all the mastery of. And do you know what? It is fucking way harder to be nasty than it is to be nice. It's simple to be nice. You, you know, people talk about what you put out in the universe. People talk about karma. Fuck all that shit, right? Bad people still get away with shit all the time, right? Bad people who you think, oh, they're gonna get their comeuppance, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're going for a fall. They're not going for a fall. They've already fucking completed the race. They're sitting on their boat. Not all the time. Yes, some people do get karma. But one of the things you can control is how you treat people. And I think it's a really nice thing when you're in trouble and you're in shit is reaching out to somebody else and just being nice to them, understanding, sharing the compassion, sharing the, the kind of love and, and looking after people. And on social media now, everyone's so fucking angry about everything. Everybody's so upset with everything. And that's fine, there's a lot to be upset about, but it's kind of put a real laser focus on all this toxicity. And I think we need to step back from that. You know, Mike Tyson summed it up quite nicely that social media has given people a real comfort zone to not getting smacked in the head when they talk shit about people. And I'm not advocating violence and I'm not taking advice from, <laughs> from Mike Tyson, but the principle stands that because we're disconnected, especially now in this world, that we are often feeling free to say what we want and we're sharing our problems with everybody else, forgetting that our shit is our shit and the next person probably doesn't care about it. It doesn't matter how angry or aggressive we are. They're not, it's not gonna make them care. It's not gonna change our situation. But what we can change is how we treat our body, how we treat our mind, and how we treat other people. And being nice and you know sharing and caring and being compassionate and understanding and holding our tongue is, is nice. In a world where it's so easy to fucking attack someone and comment on something and be nasty, judge their body, their, their talent, their skill, you know, some of the stuff that people write on social media is like criminal and it's any wonder that it doesn't, no one does anything about it. And I'm not talking about freedoms of speech and hate speech. I just think we can do better and treat people nicer. And do you know what? It is something we can control. When you meet someone and they've got a terrible reputation for being an arsehole and negative, you just think, what a waste. You know, every time you, you, you see someone in the public eye or you see someone that, like you meet a hero and you find out they're an absolute ball bag, it's harder to be a ball bag than it is to be normal. That's why I love someone like The, the Rock. You know, and maybe he, he drowns kittens in his spare time. Maybe, I don't know. But he just seems like a really good guy all the time and always gives time to, to people. So it's something to think about. Um, again, if you like the video, please share, please subscribe. They're been, meant to be little bite-sized chunks of stuff that should uh, help you get through your day. Anyway, I'm off to go to bed. Be seeing you.